Welcome back to Stradius with another episode in the Portland Snowhawks franchise. Week 15 action versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, another away game. This time against a team that has a very good record, 9-4 and four currently. Um, our record just turned negative in the last week where we lost against the Philly Eagles. Uh, but on paper, we might be better than they are. So let us just hope that this could really be another win for us. Um, any win is good just to keep momentum going, just to get us uh, get morale boost a little bit, and uh, then see to see to get towards the end of the season and just uh, finish the season on a high as as, as high as we can. Um, and uh, yeah, comparing the two teams, it is quite obvious that um, our defensing uh, pass. Uh, and, and, and rush yards per game uh, are good. Our defense is doing well, but they are as well. And their offense is doing well despite their overalls. Um, we're going to take a look at the team in depth later on, but uh, basically they are better than we are. In defense, we are the better team. Uh, we're the number one defensive ranked team, so that is great. But still, I highly doubt that this will be an easy game. The playoff picture is unchanged for us. Uh, we're still not in here. I highly doubt that we will be, but uh, let's see what happens. Uh, the target is to get into the playoffs, and if we don't manage to do that, then uh, it will be uh, Ron Rivera's head, and I will be looking maybe for a different head coach next year. And then I will also be using that head coach's playbook, because that's just more fun that way. Uh, let's take a look. Your players are ready to negotiate. Um, I don't think I will be uh, doing anything here. Carson Wentz, Joey Sly, Kelvin Harmon, Wes Schweitzer, Casey Tuil, Sam Howell. We can negotiate now with Cole Turner um, and uh, Troy Apke, who I do not want to negotiate with actually because 27. The only thing that he's going for himself is the speed and acceleration. I mean, he's super quick, but apart from that, just bad. Cole Turner, I think we can give him another contract. I did uh, did like his contribution. Um, it's like taking a better salary than what you're offering. Come on, dude, you're a rookie. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, Joey Sly also like the bonus duration, just not the salary. But I'm gonna be offering him a little bit better, but uh, not really too keen. All right, got the deal done. So we've got a kicker locked down. That is actually not bad long term as well. So let's go here. Um, quarterback, of course, Trevor Lawrence, superstar get trade, 22 years out of Clemson. So we've got an elite quarterback that we're facing here. One of the top 10 percentile of quarterbacks. Um, Steven Montes behind him, CJ Bethard and or Bethard, uh, whichever one I'm going to go with. And Nick Fitzgerald. I don't know why they have four quarterbacks, but never mind. Halfback James Robinson. That's actually a pretty good halfback as well. Not super crazy good, but uh, apart from the spin move, everything looks really well. Rounded Travis Etienne Jr. That's also a very good one. 85 overall. Also star depth trade. Also out of Clemson. And uh, Tracy Williams, a rookie out of Louisville. Fullback Xander Horvath. Wide receivers. The vastly overpaid Christian Kirk. Um, yeah, he's a good wide receiver. Um, Marvin Jones Jr. also a good wide receiver. And I think these two are the reason why they're doing so well. Cole Beasley, yeah, more or less a backup, but then again, solid backup. LaVisca Chanel Jr. also a very solid uh, wide receiver. Tyler Johnson, definitely the backup here. Titans, Evan Engram. Uh, Pat Peck, a rookie, and Antonio Newell, also a rookie. So the tight ends are uh, actually pretty well-rounded. A good, solid starting tight end, and then two solid uh, backups. Left tackle, Cam Robinson, 77 overall, 71 his backup. Left guard is Ben Barch, Luke Fortner, center is Lucas Patrick. So far, no offensive line player is over uh, 70, all right, Brandon Scherf, <laughs> superstar, 89 overall, number four ranked right guard. 
yeah looking very solid um i think they actually started out with us if i'm not mistaken but there's a weird gap nope pdx is us but uh, there's something weird here joanne taylor is the right tackle so the offensive line actually looking quite solid um it's an interesting looking rookie joe domain <clears throat> but definitely not the strong point um, of this team at uh, defense we've got the one smooth arden key and j2 Felly. solid edge selection right edge is traven walker the solid edge rusher here looking very good already despite the age of 22 uh, followers of Fatou Kazi, Devon Hamilton and Catavia Street are at D-Tackle. I actually thought that Trayvon Walker was a D-Tackle. Um, he was the number one overall pick in the 2022 draft. So, good player. Left outside linebacker, Dennis Gardek, Kylevon Chison and uh, Jordan Smith. Looks to be a decent setup. Mid linebacker Oluokon is injured, so we've got Devin Lloyd and Chad Muma. We've got Devin Lloyd, 24 years of age, 79. Not too bad, not too bad. Right outside linebacker Josh Allen, superstar, dev trait. What a fantastic right outside linebacker, right? Number three ranked right outside linebacker, and he's going to be putting pressure on us immediately. Javier uh, Massey is the backup here. At corner, we've got Shaquille Griff Griffin, Darius Williams, Tyson Campbell, Josh Thompson, and Chris Claybrooks. But uh, two, one very good uh, corner and one at least nasty corner due to his speed. Speed, acceleration, agility, jumping. Yeah, let's be wary. Free safety, Logan Ryan and Dion Tong or tongue Rutgers product uh, speed recognition acceleration awareness looking good tackle hip power block shedding maybe a bit lacking and uh, finally strong safeties Andre Cisco 22 years old normal death trade 75 overall he's got speed going for him apart from that not too crazy kickers Matt Gay and uh, punter is Logan Cook Okay, so what do we do with that information in weekly strategy? Uh, defend the short pass, which is not even the strongest for, uh, for Trevor Lawrence. But we're going to go with it. So, yeah, it is the recommendation here. Gonna be going with half pads. There we go. All right, that looks good on offense. What are we gonna do? Throw it medium is your suggestion, which is our worst, our absolute worst uh, category. We're gonna go with a blitz counter, of course. I need time to place this thro the the throws here. And uh, make life as difficult as we can. All right, that looks settled. Next up is the team profile and weekly game plan. Five plus sacks, why would we do that? I mean, yeah, let's go with it. The defense isn't as, isn't as tough. Uh, the, the offensive line isn't as strong. Uh, maybe our defense can uh, negate them gonna go with two offensive touchdowns and the head coach we are gonna go with uh let's try and allow less than 200 yards focus players are okay for me so let's get training all right so defense has finished training i see no injuries at the moment a lot of uh, experience points all over the board uh injury still nothing on offense that is positive because injuries are killing us similar to the interceptions we're gonna upgrade the players now 
How many do we have? Four. Okay. So Daryl and Payne will get an upgrade towards a run stopper. That is good. Block shedding and tackle. James Smith Williams, a right edge. Gonna go towards speed rusher. Uh, 25 years old. NC State Keith Ismail is gonna get an upgrade towards agile. 24 years old. Yeah, Darian Mathis at D tackle. Get an upgrade. It's now 72 overall. Acceleration, block shedding, and tackle. 24 years out of Alabama. Okay, manage staff. I think we can upgrade the defensive coordinator a little bit more. There's still so, so much to go. So many things to cover here until we really have uh, have a solid solid uh, situation there and now let's take a look at our team and uh, because I think we might need to set things up differently all right no we don't okay what about that D tackle D tackle We've got Mathis as the second deep tackler, right? Yeah, nothing, we can't do anything else anyways. So I'm not gonna be bothering with that. And we still don't know the death trait of Carmichael, so let's see what that'll be. Lannon Dickerson is returning from injury, that is positive. And as for team management, not really much to do at the moment. We spent quite a lot of money on improving the stadium. Our team revenue is uh, terrible at the moment because uh, we are, uh, uh, due to the um, re-signing of the players, we had to pay quite a few bonuses here. So that took quite something out of our bag here. Uh, but uh, yeah, player salaries, staff salaries, stadium lease, and the player bonuses all in all really dragging us down in this week. We still have uh, 18, 80.1 mil uh, in value. Um, not going to be too bothered about that. I think as soon as we start winning, things will change towards our benefit. And now let's get into the game. All right, so Trevor Lawrence is the home quarterback, of course, for the Jacksonville Jaguars here in the stadium. And uh, we're going to see what we can do here. Can we limit them? Or are they gonna steamroll us? All right, so Jacksonville on the board pretty quickly. Our defense couldn't stop them. Gonna start with the tight end under. And again, we have the offensive play art. That is super annoying because it just makes it so difficult. Cole Turner can't hold onto the ball. Chad Moomer, really, really uh, disturbing concentration there gonna go for a left side run with Antonio Gibson here trying to weave my way through the defensive lines taken down here third and two another inside zone left hand side run and I've got earphones the noise is incredibly loud stopped here number 53 First and ten. All right, so we do pick that up, and again it's Muma. He is gonna be on us always this game. I feel it. And let's press that momentum here. Let's get a touchdown. Don't really like this safe catch here by Cole Turner, our backup tight end that we just gave a new contract to. As a matter of fact. Do we go with a bubble? Let's try this. Let's try this one here. It is going to be Curtis Samuel. Okay. I actually went for the quick pass, but it's third and two. And now we're going to go with the zone weak left hand side run again. Antonio Gibson will have his work cut out for him. Can't really get through the gap here. It's number 44. Just take us down. 
But uh, not too bothered by that because we get the first down. That is what counts. Let's go with a bunch dig. I'd love to get a ball to, to Justin Jefferson at some point in time. And a cold turner again on the run here, but Campbell never really losing sight of the target. Bit of a pity there, but he was always matching the run. And as soon as uh, Cole Turner went for the for the route, defense was on him. And actually, I can absolutely forget about looking at any play art. Cole Turner picks up quite a bit of yardage here on the left hand side. That was well done. I really like my two tight ends. They are not the highest in overalls, but they are so. I don't know, they just uh, feel, feel well-rounded. And um, can we get that one, Curtis Samuel? That was a nice one. I saw him getting free towards uh, the far left side. And uh, that was actually, that was actually really a good, good opening. Wanted to go with the tight end, but suddenly he was completely free. Awesome. Very well done. Seven yards. First and go. We're going to go with a halfback. Quick base, left hand side. Nope. Let's flip the play. I want to go for the right hand side. Maybe there are a bit less stud defenders there. So can we get Gibson free here? The play art, of course, is not correct. Jesus Christ. Don't even know what to say about that. That was just horrendously bad. Absolutely horrendously bad, but now Noah Gray into the end zone. Let's go with a little team celebration here. Oh, is he dead? Is he dead? Oh my god. Oh, very nice. He gets picked up there. Somehow finding the target on the left-hand side. Don't get me wrong, I might be renewing Sam Howell's contract. Um, no, I will not renew it. I will maybe give him a new contract in the off-season. If he's a free agent, then, uh, then we'll give him that contract. Because I think, I mean, I do think that he is, he does have potential, but what exactly was that? Why did he drop the ball? Oh my God. What was that? Curtis Samuel, right? All right. Good run. Good run. No, it wasn't Curtis Samuel. It was Jan Dodson. Why did he drop the ball? Why, 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 why? He's got space. Got space ball. Comes pretty high, okay. But then... And then he just drops it. Okay. That is what you call a drop ball. And that is what you don't want to see as a coach. Van Jefferson or Noah Gray. I have two options here. Safe catch, Noah Gray. Four minutes, 20 to go in the second quarter. Let's go the southeast dig here. Turner, going to put Jefferson on the slant here. All right, off we go. Ooh. Hamilton smacking the ball away out of thin air. Let me go with the dragon spacing here. Justin Jefferson would be an awesome option if he got free. And that is Antonio Gibson, who manages to catch the ball despite pressure by Muma, and then goes for another five yards. That was well done. That is what I want to see. Can we get Antonio Gibson free? Come on, Antonio. 
can we get him across the line? No, we can't. Almost, I almost evaded uh, the the tacklers though. But then again, so quickly getting across so quickly. I don't really want to go with any of these because I fear that uh, we'll get dragged back pretty quickly. So off we go, Antonio Gibson. And I do hope we got the first down. Two minutes 35. And a cross drag incoming. Curtis Samuel, my runner. Gibson or Gray are my realistic options. To be honest, Antonio Gibson just feels so agile and so versatile. Really happy with him. Um, sadly, I can't really utilize Justin Jefferson as much as I would like to, due to, yeah, well, quite simply due to the whole quarterback situation here. Looking for Jahan Dotson. He does have a nice route with that stick, whatever thing. I appreciate him coming back, but that's five yards lost. Third and ten. Let's go the dagger. Again, Jefferson or Gray. Come on, Je Justin. Let's go. Oh my god, he can't hold on to the ball. That is annoying. I mean, that is really annoying. Can't really risk anything here. And Tressway punting the ball here. And it goes out of bounds at 10. That is actually that's not a bad punt. 1 minute 12. And with 36 seconds, we get the ball again. Our defense is really doing a good job. We just have to acknowledge that right now. But most of the games they are. It's offense that is lacking terribly. No agree. I'm not really getting too far. To be honest, I just want to get it to field goal range. We don't need any hot stuff here. Yeah, six seconds to go. We're gonna go for an insanely long field goal. because the Hail Marys are all useless. Hardly ever work. And we've got strong winds super far away. Uh, it's gonna be inaccurate, but we might fall short. So I'd rather go for that. As uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars are on the board ahead of us. We've got super confused play art, it's wrong, it's wobbly, I cannot rely on anything right now, get the ball away, Diami Brown gets the ball here, he's mauled pretty quickly, go with an inside cross now, will be going with Noah Gray, 5 yards should be doable for him, but uh, I would have to throw the ball accurately, which didn't happen. And got the siren going. There we go, Noah Gray, well done. I think it's a first down. That is good, that is good. Let's try and be as calm as we can be. I'm gonna go with Antonio Gibson here out of the backfield. smacked away and it's almost as if the ball is going in slow motion sometimes super weird super weird but uh, I'm gonna have to accept it Curtis Samuel on the short run 
Sam Howell gets six yards on that passing throw. We're going to go with a dry flood. Looking for Jahan Dotson, who will be on the short one. He's the most realistic option. It's actually a pretty accurate pass. Taken down here by number eight. Lloyd. Matching the run. Matching the run here. Gonna go with a mesh spot. Jahan Dotson would be a good option. But uh, we also have Van Jefferson, uh, Justin Jefferson. No, Van Jefferson. <laughs> Bit too similar these two names are. Is what Yoda would say. All right, let's get the ball away. And once again, Curtis Samuel needs to go ahead, lean ahead, cannot really maintain. A standing position here as we're gonna go with this play here yeah I'm not gonna be risking a sack here I'm not gonna do that third and three come on can we please get that done spacing options here I don't like them they're usually just super annoying to play but Cole Turner gets it done and this is going to be the first touchdown for Cole Turner <laughs> and he's gonna be taking a knee out of respect for Sam Howell I think all right I take everything back I mean Cisco I don't know what happened here but actually he should have been should have been taken down <laughs> Cole Turner is not the fastest runner. But that was well done. That was well done. And we are lagging by a field goal. That is great. That is actually great. Because it means if we can score a touchdown, we will have a chance at winning this game. Wow, Antonio Gibson breaking two tackles. What a run. What a what a crazy good run. I can understand the Jacks coach not happy. But that's the first one. No, that was the second one that was broken. What a great what a great play. I'm a bit uh, a bit surprised. But I'm gonna take it. Smacked away. Justin Jefferson not receiving the ball. We're going to go with a flanker drive. And uh, Curtis Samuel will be my primary receiver here. Gets the ball. How far can we get up the field? 41. Clock is running. Four minutes to go. That's a fair play by Cam Robinson. Left hand side run here. And off we go now. Antonio Gibson with uh, five yards on the pickup. I don't want to. It might sound strange, but I don't want to close the distance too quickly. I can't rely on our defense stopping them yet again. But it is looking pretty good here. Didn't mean to go out of bounds, but uh, pushed there. Third and 11. Mm, let's go with the super shallow cross here. Noah Gray again. He's looking to be a bit tired, but I understand him. I've been going to... Oh my god. Oof. Okay, let's go with the drive. We're going to be going with Curtis Samuel, who is looking to be way fitter. And it's going to be a five yard pickup. Third and five. 
Let's go with the slip screen towards the right. No, we're gonna flip that, of course. And this is Antonio Gibson. I'm gonna go out of bounds here intentionally. But we're not gonna be able to drag it down for this long. All right, let's just get it into the end zone. And here we go. What a good run. Let's, let's see if we can mock the crowd a little bit. And that is Antonio Gibson. Doing very well. And now it's down to our defense. Oh, come on, guys. 1 minute 20, and we have to get at least a field goal if we want to stand a chance here. It's not going to work like that. Let's go to the right corner. It's great, or Curtis Samuel. Not gonna comment on that. Should have been better. Should be doing better. But uh, we are wasting again. Let's go to safe catch here by Noah Gray. Jesus Christ, what a catch. But to be honest, what a throw. I wasn't expecting that to get there. Somehow really aired that one out pretty well. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm glad I went with the safe catch, but the clock is running. Clock is running. We're at the 34. Let's go with the dagger. Looking for the run for Noah Gray again. I mean, if he doesn't get MVP, then I don't know what who will. Right, taken out here at the 29 second mark. 22 yard mark that is good pass that was a good pass went out of bounds here gonna go with the drive towards the right hand side this time let's give gray a little bit of time to catch his breath can we not do that can we not do that please and that is Cisco. And that is going to be the game. Two receivers are there. Nobody reacts. Oh, nice. We've got six seconds. And the full pitch to cross. I hate Hail Marys. Super useless most of the time. And it's going to be Jefferson. He's so tired, I don't know why. Yeah, I tried to, get it, tried to get it to him, but... Fatukazi takes us down. And that is another loss. And we're now 6-8. This is really, we get upgrades for Matt Hennessy, our center. I'm gonna put that towards power, pass block, run block, power and strength. And Cole Turner will also get an upgrade here towards vertical threat. Get him running better, I guess, but uh, a lot of upgrade points. That is, that is very nice, but we are not really moving into a direction that I like to be moving. Three more weeks and then the season is over. And I think the Titans, the Giants and the Buccaneers will be no pushovers. And uh, it'll be tough. It'll be very tough heading into the final few weeks here. 
we started quite well. I really, I, I can only return to that. We started well, but uh, now we are not doing well. We're just doing very, very badly. And uh, yeah, I do hope you enjoy watching me fail here um, or that it's exciting for you. Um, if you do, please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel or just drop me a comment. I really enjoy reading from you. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.